you will learn how memory works by creating sec faults. That's a cool feature of C. Oh man, great, can we start? The advantages over Java. Where should I start? Using Java? What? Is your company rich? Memory allocation. Hybrid inheritance. I mean, I think C is the real hero here. I don't really like uh, C++. C sharp? <laughs> yeah, good driver will say learning to fly is stupidly complicated because everything is done with a sedan. But if you ask a pilot, he'll simply laugh at you. <laughs> C++ is low level. Low level. For hardware programming. Low level. Try writing a kernel in JavaScript. Try programming an FPGA in Java. Try programming an FPGA in JavaScript. In the other languages, where do you have pointers, structs, references, OOP, procedural? even types and where do you have virtual constructors in other languages you wouldn't understand structs you want a good knock knock joke knock knock race condition oh no 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 did you get it uh, the reference do you need pointers it's not an error it's a sec fault that's a casualty memory leak it is more difficult to create unsafe software in java well then where's the fun water leak what software is written in c what software isn't written in C? Websites? We're talking about real software? All platforms are built in it. How can it not be cross-platform? Mm, linker error. We need to see the compiler as enemy. Wiki leak. Uh, the, the runtime error detection. The runtime error detection is the programmer's responsibility. We don't need a package manager. We write everything ourselves. We do use Boost though. I remember writing kernels and drivers when I started with C. What were you doing? Painting GUIs? You learned C in one night? People build applications. We build applications that let people build applications. No. My favorite book? 10 elegant ways to create a sec fault. Let me show you how you would do it in C. 